Hello, this is a quick video explaining how uh, to how, uh, Lab 7 has worked. And I'm just going to walk through it really quick. Um, it does not take a lot of uh, effort here. So the first thing I do is when I look at uh, Lab 6, is what I want to do is kind of organize this a little bit. So that way, lab six is separate from lab seven. And all lab seven is, is you are creating a new VLAN uh, So you're creating a new VLAN, so that way two VLANs are working on the same um, system. So we do that. All right, uh, I do this because as your network gets more complicated, um, this is a lot easier to refer, hey, I plug this cable in because once you stop hovering over it, then the, the names go away. So when I hover this one, now I get that, and but then after a while, the names go away. So. Uh, according to lab seven, we got to create a new um, network. And so what I'm going to do is just get a random IP address. So, yeah, that looks like a good one. All right. So, the first thing I do is document the IP addressing. So, the network is going to be 217-39-116-96. And it's going to be 27, sitter 27 which equates to the mask of 255, 255, 255, that's 24, 25, 26, 27. So what is that? 194 maybe? Give me a second here. I am so tired, but I want to get this video made. So 111. Uh, 224. Ah, nuts. Dot 224. Okay, so that's be our subnet mask, which means our first IP is going to be 217.39. Dot one one six dot ninety seven, and then our last is going to be two one seven thirty nine one one six dot one two six, and our broadcast is. Two one seven dot thirty nine dot one one six dot one two seven. Okay. We don't really need the broadcast for this lab, but all this other information we do need. So that's going to be our VLAN. Uh, we'll call it VLAN seven, I think. All right, and those are all the IP addresses we're going to need. So to make our VLAN look, our VLAN seven look unique, I'm just going to do laptops. Those work just fine.
and we'll use the first IP address. So we go here to IP configuration and we'll say, let's use the first IP address 217.39.1.1. Dot 97 and then our IP address is uh, 224 okay so there's our subnet mask all right we save that by hitting the X and we close that Now we open this one. Again, we go to IP configuration and we do, uh, let's use the next IP address, which is 217.39.116.98. And again, our subnet mask is 255.255.255.224. We save it by hitting the X and we close that. So now we have to configure our switch just like we did in lab six. So we go to the CLI, and we see how that is done. Um, we type enable. And then we config T. And that brings us into the config. So what we want to do is we want to pick a couple of um, ports and if we look at the physical I might have to zoom in a little bit see how many ports are available it looks like 24 um, we can verify that by hovering our mouse over this yeah so we have 24 we have so you can see it if I move the mouse it goes away but you can see we have up to 24 I like to use odd numbers because they're easier physically for the cables to come out. So let's use port 21 and 23. So let's go up here and we'll, let's label FA021 and FA023. And that gives us um, our VLAN 7 ports. Okay, and let's label laptop one. IP address is um, two one seven dot thirty nine dot one one six 
dot 97 with a sitter of 27. And then this one is 217.39.116.97 with a sitter of 27. Oh, we can't be 97, we gotta be 98. Okay. And that is laptop two. Let's just make sure our configuration matches. So this says 97, and this one says 98. So let's just change those labels here. 98 and 97. All right, so now we need an IP address for VLAN 7 here. And so our maximum IP address is 126. And since VLAN 6 ends in 100, let's do the same thing for this one. VLAN 7 will be 217-39-116.100. And the reason you... you there's a lot of different schemas out there, but the thing is, when you're looking at a list of IP addresses, any little clue of what it might lead to is important. So this one, if you're looking at all these IP addresses and you see one that ends in 100, you know the way we're configuring it, that that ending of 100 is going to be the switch. So this one is going to lead to the switch. This one's going to lead to the switch. Anything else is not leading to the switch. So that's why you kind of find shortcuts like that to, to make things easier on yourself. All right. So obviously, so that's 97. That's verified. This is 98. That's verified. And this is 100. However, we have not. So there's VLAN 6 at 100. But we have not set up VLAN 7. So that's what we're going to do right now. All right. So we're going to call VLAN 7. Now we've switched to the VLAN configuration. We're going to say name is lab7. I think we can't have a space there, but I'm not sure. All right. And then we do end. Hit enter so we see that. And then we do show VLAN to make sure the VLAN was created. And you can see right there. That VLAN 7, when it's named Lab 7, is active. It just doesn't have any ports. We know how to fix that easily enough. Uh, we're going to add the switch ports to VLAN 7. There we go. Sorry, my I didn't print this out. I'm using my tablet and it went to sleep mode on me. Okay. So, we go from there and we do uh, config T. And then we interface with, um, you can see up here, we want interface with FA21. So interface FA0 forward slash 21. And then we do switch port mode access. Now we're in the switch port and we say, Switch port access VLAN 7. No shut. Make sure it doesn't turn off. Obviously, shut means shut down. No shut means don't shut down. I know. All right, then we hit end. And then we configure the next port by doing config T. Interface FA0. 023, switch port mode access, switch port access VLAN 7, no shut, and, and now if we do show VLAN, we will see that VLAN 7 labeled lab7 
has two active ports, number 21 and 23. So now the last thing we need to do is to assign an IP address to that VLAN. And we do that by config T interface with VLAN 7. Okay. And we just type IP address. And then over here, we already wrote that down, what VLAN's IP address is going to be. And so all we have to do is type it in. It's a lot easier if you make your determination of what the address and stuff are by doing the labels before you actually start programming the computers. Because if your labels are correct, um, when you just flat out just type stuff in, it makes things a whole lot easier. 255, 255, 255, dot 224. And then that says it took it. And again, you do no shot. And then you do end. And you do show run. And it tells you that We have VLAN 7, it's interface with 21 and 23. And if we move on just a little bit, there it says VLAN 6 has this IP address, and VLAN 7 has this IP address. And now all that is good and configured. So now all we have to do is put a cable together. So here's a cable. We go from here. Remember, this one's going to FA21. So we go here and we select 21. And we want a cable from here that goes to FA23. And then if we fast forward time a little bit, everything turns green and everything looks good. So we can go here, go to the desktop, the command prompt, and we can ping. And again, because we have the labels, we know what we're pinging. So we're pinging PC2, and we're trying to ping PC1. So we're going to ping the IP address for PC1, which is 1010.50.1. And you can see that we have full response time. And if we try to ping VLAN, a PC that's on VLAN, seven, it'll error out. So we'll do that right now. We'll ping 217.39.116.98. And it's going to error out because this is on a completely different subnet. So they will not cross. And even though everything's going to the same box, this is electrically a completely different circuit. So this is uh, VLAN 7, and this is VLAN 6. All right. And that timed out just like we said it would. All right, so now if we close this and we open up our laptop, we open a command prompt, and the opposite is true. We can ping laptop 1 by pinging 217.39.116.98. And it'll see, and it gives you uh, a, a simulated latency. I get better latency not in, with live equipment than I do with the simulator. But anyway, if you want to see this graphically, how this works, you can go over here to simulation. You can show none. Go to edit, ICMP. That is your ping. You should know that from your readings. And then we come up here and we get an envelope. It's a closed envelope. We say we want you to go from here to here. And then we want this one to go from here to here. And then we hit play. And you can see these packets as they move across the network. And you can see that the green never goes to where the blue is. And the blue never goes to where the green is. And that makes things quite nice. All right. So if you don't like those, hit delete, and then you can practice 
Well, what if I want this one to go here, and I want this one to go here? Well, if you hit play, you'll get two big red X's. They won't even leave the station because it has no idea where to go. All right, so that's just that's a good thing that you learn that now. So yeah, you will get no response. And that's what that looks like. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, this is Lab 7 explained. And then I have given you all the IP addresses for Lab 7, and you should have the labels here appropriately um, just because it saves you so much time. And everyone's like, oh, I don't want to do the labels. Well, that's fine. I don't care. But you're going to beat your head against the wall, and when you say, hey, Professor, I need your help, you're going to send me a big mess of wires, and I'll be like, where's your labels? Go label it before you send it to me because I don't work like that. So, all right. Have a good day. I hope this was beneficial, and good night.